Every residence in this building will have that view of downtown over the Bayshore. We'll show you the new tower along Bayshore along with some unbelievable luxury from the past. From Tampa Bay's number one news station, this is the Fox 13 6 o'clock news. All right, they broke ground on a new luxury condo project on Bayshore Boulevard today. Luxury along Bayshore goes all the way back to the 1800s. We'll show you when we come back. Paul, can we just bottle up this day? Yeah, I tell you, the views on Bayshore today were pretty good. Here's another view on Bayshore. The official groundbreaking was held today for a new luxury condominium tower on Bayshore Boulevard. It's called the Virage, and it's at Bayshore and Julia Street at the site of the old Colonnade restaurant. Pricing starts at a million dollars. Look how beautiful that is. The penthouse is five million dollars. Beautiful. Bayshore is moving up in price range and in luxury. Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers is live on Bayshore. Lloyd, apparently Bayshore condos in high demand, huh? Lots of demand for these, Mark. They say they have $75 million in sales pre-construction. But the Virage is just the newest chapter in a very interesting story of luxury on the Bayshore. The ceremonial shovels dig into some of Tampa's most valuable dirt. The top condos in the new luxury Virage cost $5 million, largely because of its Bayshore location. It's our signature street. I mean, it's what we are known for. But many don't know just how far back luxury goes on the Bayshore. In the 1890s, Amelia Chapin had her own private streetcar. She parked it at her house by the Bayshore. And if she wanted to go shopping, downtown, she would uh, call ahead and have all the streetcar traffic pulled to side tracks while so she could go uninterrupted. History Center curator Rodney Kite Powell says Amelia and her husband owned a power company and they built a dam that local ranchers threatened to destroy. And the, the cattle ranchers actually made good and they blew up the dam. Uh, interestingly, some of those same cattle ranchers became investors in the company that became Tampa Electric. Tico ran streetcars up and down the Bay Shore, but when Tampa took a direct hit by a hurricane in 1921, some wanted to keep the damage on the Bay Shore a secret. The leadership of Tampa uh, was very quick to say, we don't need anybody's help, we don't need anybody's money, things aren't that bad here, when things really were that bad, because they didn't want the perception that Tampa was unsafe. Secrets of the Bay Shore, with its luxuries of the past, where even the newest $5 million condo doesn't come with a private streetcar. Yeah, they have 24 stories. They have an infinity edge pool facing the Bayshore, but what they don't have for $5 million is a private streetcar like Amelia Chapin had in the 1890s. Mark and Kelly, back to you. That's a fabulous story. Yeah, we all wish we had a streetcar, but... Mm -hmm. Lloyd, thanks very much. Well, and there's a reason yeah. we have all these events on Bayshore. There's a yeah, reason we do beautiful. live shots out there on Bayshore. Even when it's hot, you've got the view, you've got the breeze. So uh, it's no wonder that's a that's a yeah. it's in high demand for right. sure. Right, a lot a lot of fancy condos yeah. going up and already existing.